It's all ladies, it's women on the GM Fringe tonight because I've actually got Catherine Ferns in the studio and we did say hello before. So are you okay, Catherine? I'm good, I'm good. I'm, I'm glad I'm considered a lady on this station. <laughs> <laughs> Woman, lady, it's fine, <laughs> whichever. Um, so you're going to talk to us now about your show, aren't you? You're, you've got mm. a show which is called Catherine Ferns is in Stitches. Yes, so it's a stand-up storytelling show that uh, I have at 53.2. I'm very excited about uh, bringing it to Manchester, and then afterwards, I'll be bringing the show to the Edinburgh Fringe and the Vancouver Fringe, so it's a so long you, journey, and it starts in Manchester. You've got a very busy summer then, haven't you? I do. Yeah. I hope I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, you're testing it out at the Greater Manchester Fringe, and then you'll be off to... Well, I've workshopped the show for the last year, so it should be ready. It should be all polished up, uh, ready to go in July, so... That's great. Look forward to that. Yeah, so uh, you're going to be on the 53-2. So you were telling me all about it, weren't you, before? Yes, it's, it's a new venue. I'm very excited to perform there. It's a beautiful space. It's right around the corner from Dean's Gate, so it's in one of the arches. Uh, it's a beautiful building, and uh, I really hope uh, people come and discover the venue because they have a lot of other events there as well. So, yeah. 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 So, um, how did you get started on this? What sort of inspired you to, to do this um, stand-up? Uh, actually, it was a dare. Someone dared me to do it. <laughs> um, I was a painter in Vancouver. I was very shy, and someone uh, dared me to go on stage. I had one week to write five minutes of jokes, and I was panicking the whole time, just trying to think <laughs> of what I could say. I didn't tell anyone. I thought this would be the most embarrassing five minutes of my life. But uh, it turned out all right. Mm. And I was booked to come back two weeks later. And then eventually I started doing gigs four or five times a week while studying for my finals at university. And then I got hooked. Wow. And that, that was all in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, I like to make it very clear that I am Canadian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ever since the U.S. election, <laughs> uh, everyone loves Canadians. <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I started stand-up in Vancouver and then moved to Toronto. And then I moved to England about three years ago. I lived in London for the last two years and then moved to Manchester last September. So mm, yeah. I love it up here. And I was actually asking you what brought you to England Mm. Uh, when you live in Canada, you know, <laughs> I, I can't imagine sort of coming, moving from Canada to be over here. I mean, where I used to live in Canada, uh, it, it's very cold. It's eight months of the year. It is winter. And, and I just, I couldn't take it. I'm a very weak Canadian. So I needed to, to come over to England where everything is just, I don't know, it's more mellow. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not. There's less bears as well. Uh, I'm yes. terrified of yeah. bears. Yeah. And there's a lot in Canada. Yeah. The, yeah. That's it. There's only people in bear suits here, or bears <laughs> are in certain places. Yeah. That that is equally scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I suppose that's it, isn't it? You do mm -hmm. have uh, bears out in the wild and things. So yeah. You've got to be careful, haven't you? Yeah. So I talk about that a little bit in my show. Yeah. About uh, there's certain dangers of being in Canada. Yeah, I can imagine. You know, but yeah. the, but the maple syrup is wonderful. So please visit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to ask you about, um, obviously, uh, the dare. So it was worth it. I I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've committed uh, over five years of my life. So uh, I think you should make all life decisions based on a dare. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's uh, it's something that you would never have done, isn't it? No, no. I needed the push. I think my friend knew that yeah. I secretly wanted to do it, but didn't have the yeah. courage. So and, and the story about is in stitches. I mean, I'm looking at the poster here and you're looking quite a bit ruffled aren't you on the poster and it looks like you've sort of the excesses of all the things that you shouldn't do and that you've got a, a prince picture under your arm or an album mm. so can tell us a bit more about the actual show well uh i guess it's uh, a show about all the mistakes i've made in my life so uh i guess all the lessons i've hopefully learned um but 10% of the show is actually about Prince. So if you're a fan of the singer, uh, you'll probably like the show. Uh, it, it sort of, I guess, the show evolved from uh, the day uh, Prince passed away, April 21st, 2016. I became inspired to write uh, my show. It, there's some dark humor in there, but it's also an uplifting show at the end. Yeah. So um, I, I don't want to give away too many twists no, and turns. No, that's it. We must the keep the, we must whet people's appetite enough yes. for them to say, oh, "I've got to go and see that," without saying, 
uh, too much. Mm, yeah. Yes. So it's it's a true story, uh, and it is it's funny, but it's also dark and moving. So there's a there's a lot going on and lots of um, surprises along the way. But it it is about my life in Canada, about um, maybe some sort of horrible experiences, but how I found humor in very mm. dark moments of my life. Inspired you to actually mm. start writing things down and. Yeah, yeah, and I think humor is a way to sort of talk about maybe darker or more serious issues in a way that's accessible mm. to everyone to understand. But also I think, you know, humor is a way to deal with anxieties that you may have in your life yeah. in a positive way. Yeah. So. We, we have to say that you are part British though as well, don't we? I am, I am. I'm allowed to be in this country. I do have a passport. <laughs> Uh, there was, uh, about a month ago, I had to send away my British passport to have it renewed. Right. And I had to send my Canadian passport with it. And so there was a month where I was an undocumented immigrant in this oh. country. <laughs> and I was worried that Brexit was going to happen the next day. And I was like, no, they're going <laughs> to deport me. But um, my parents, they are um, from Birmingham. Right. and uh, mm. Which, based on my accent, uh, is hard to tell. But There's not uh, much Brummie in there. No, no, not too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think they deliberately told me not to adopt the accent. Right. But, um, but yeah, no, so I... Uh, it's kind of interesting that my parents, you know, left this country. And then as soon as I was 19 years old, I, I thought, I want to go to this country. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You're doing this stand-up show, 53-2. And it's, mm -hmm. you've got two nights there, haven't you? We'll tell everybody which nights you're on. I do. So it's Friday, July 14th and Sunday, July 16th. And they're both at 7 p.m. And she said that without actually looking at the poster, which I've actually got in my hands here. So there isn't a picture of Catherine on the back looking more like she does today, as well as the one where she's a bit dishevelled from the yeah. the stress of life and, yeah. and all that. Yeah, it's of the thing. before and after pictures. Yeah. Uh, that's what I look like before, and I have survived. So. Yeah. Um, I guess it's a, it's a story of survival. Yeah. yeah. I don't have too many comedians on, which is a shame, mm. really, because we're just saying it's nice to have comedy and comedians like yourself mm -hmm. coming into the studio. And we need to mention here, you were 2014 finalist, Laughing Horse New App Competition. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh, yes. Um, when I first arrived... Um, the Laughing Horse, uh, they had a wonderful uh, New App Competition, and then they also... Um, host uh, events at the Brighton Fringe and the Edinburgh Fringe. So I've been with them since 2014. So I've done the Brighton Fringe twice and Edinburgh now, I guess this is my third time uh, right. with Laughing Horse. Mm. Uh, with They have the Free Fringe at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. So they've been very supportive of me and, and I'm grateful um, that they, they've helped me uh, grow as a comedian over here. Yeah. yeah. And the 2012 finalist Just for Laughs Toronto's Funniest Comedian. Yes, that was that was a bit of a fluke. I had been doing stand up for only nine months and entered that competition. I think I was uh, confident or delusional. I'm not sure, but uh, that was that was a wonderful experience. Uh, yeah. Just giving me hope to continue <laughs> doing this. Well, I certainly hope it has. Um, and mm -hmm. this is your first Greater Manchester Fringe. Yes, it is. So I, I don't know what to expect, but I'm really hoping people will come out and see my show. Uh, and uh, I, I'm just also excited that the venue is uh, bringing so many different um, yeah. acts and plays and, and art and culture to Manchester. They, yeah. they, they're really passionate about what they do. Mm -hmm.